So here we have simplified this, leaving the answer in sort form or radicals. So here we'll have 2, so we could just write that out, 3 root 75 minus root 12 plus root 108. Now when you are giving this type of questions in the exams, what you do first is try to look for a particular number that could go through 75, 12 and 108. Alright, get a particular number, try to check carefully. Now if you check carefully here, you notice 3 can go in 75, 12 can go, 3 can go in 12 and also 3 can go in 108. So we'll have, we'll have something like this, 3 root 75 that will give us 3 times 25 definitely will give us 75 then minus root now 4 times 3 3 times 4 also will give us 12 you agree with me then for 108 we would have 3 times 36 would give us 108 you can punch your calculator to confirm that okay so always check for a particular number that could go through the, the numbers in the square root so here we'll have 3 into brackets, we can split this up to 3 dots or 25, that's still times, okay? Minus root 3 dot root 4 plus root 3 dot root 36. Now, this is from, from the rule that says you can, it's always very good you explain what you do. So, you could explain this that root a times b could also be given as root a root b this is from the rules in sorts okay so this could also be further simplified to we could have this as 3 then here we'll have here we'll have 5 so you could bring the 5 out so you have root 3 okay so from root 25 you can have 5 you know that so from root 4 you can have 2 you know that so you have 3 then from also root 36, root 36 here, you can have 6 times 6 is 36. So you bring the 6 outside and you have 3 inside the bracket. So here we could further simplify this to 15. That's 3 times 5, 15. Then root 3 minus 2 root 3. You'll agree with me. Then 6 root 3. What we just did was we just opened the bracket. So here we'll have something very, very interesting. So we could just write 15 root 3 plus... 6 root 3 minus 2 root 3. So here we have 15. So you can add or subtract easily because they have the same roots. Now, if they are having different roots, you can't add. It's just like saying x and y. You can't add 15x plus 6y. You can't. Okay? So here it's like 15x plus 6x. You could easily do that. So here we have 15 plus 6. That is 21 root 3 minus 2 root 3. So here we have 21 minus 2, that's 19 with 3. And that's the final answer. So that's our final answer for the first question. Now for the next aspect, we are asked to find n. If 124n equals to 2, 3, 2, base 5, find n. So we're looking for what the base of 1, 2, 4 here is. So let's put this as b. So we could just write 1, 2, 4n equals... 2, 3, 2 in base 5. In base 5. So, to solve this type of question, what you do first is just put 0 in front of. Let, let's make that very different. Let's, let's make it different. So, you could just put 0 in front of 4, 1 in front of 2, then 2 in front of 1. Okay? So, you start from 0, 1, 2. The same thing applies to this one also. You do it also in the same manner. So, you have 0, 1, 2. So, let's solve this together. So, to solve this, you would have. 1 times the base, which is n, raised to power 2, raised to power 2, that's the power here. Then the next one also will be 2, that's this 2, times the base, which is n, raised to the power, which is 1. Then the next one also will be 4 times the base, raised to power 0, alright? So equal to the next part, so we'll have 2 that's 2 here times the base which is 5 raised to power 2 that's this power here plus 3 that's 3 times the base which is 5 raised to power 1 plus 2 times 5 that's this 2 times 5 raised to power 0 so we could just write this imply n squared times 1 is n squared plus this is 2 times n raised to power n you agree with me that's 2n plus now this is 
4 times n raised to the power 0 is going to be 1. You know, anything raised to the power 0 is always 1. Okay? So, also, for this aspect, we'll solve for the first aspect. Now, for the second aspect, which is this, you would have 2 times 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3 times 5, okay, 5 raised to the power 1, plus 2 times 5 raised to the power 0 is definitely 1. And 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. So here we could write this, okay? So let's solve for the first part also. That will be n squared plus 2n plus 4, okay? 4 times 1, 4. Then this is 25 times 5, which is 15, plus 5 times 3, which is 15, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. So moving away from that, we could still go on to say, could go on to say n squared plus 2n plus 4 equals 50 plus 15, that's 65, plus 2, that's 67. So moving away from that, could just write, this implies that n squared plus 2n plus 4 minus 67 equals 0. So this implies that, this implies that n squared plus 2n, now 4 minus 67, that's definitely going to be 60, 63, okay? 63 equals 0. So this one, now we need to find the value of n because you remember from the question, we are find, asked to find the value of n, which is, a, which, is the, which is the base of 124, okay? So we need to find the value. So we can use, this is a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic equation formula. So you say using the quadratic equation formula now since we're working in variable n we could just write this as n equals to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over all over 2a okay so what we'll do is we'll pick out a b and c from this so we can write a equals 1 you see a is 1 here b equals 2, you see b is 2 here, and c equals minus 63, c equals minus 63, so let's put it in the formula, so here we can have, let's just write it here, so let's bring this here, so we'll have n equals minus into bracket, now b is 2, plus or minus root b squared, b squared is 2, so that will be b squared minus 4a, a is 1, c is minus 63, all over all over 2a which is 1 so n equals to minus 2 plus or minus now square 2, two squared is 4 minus times minus will give you plus 63 times 4 will definitely give you 252 252 you can do that with your calculator to confirm so 2 times 1 is also 2 so here we'll have n equals minus 2 plus or minus root now 4 plus 252 will definitely give you 256 all over 2 so we'll solve for the square root of 256 so we'll have square root of 256 equals 16 okay so we'll just say n equals minus 2 plus or minus 16 all over 2 so this implies that this implies that n equals minus 2 plus 16 that is you take the first addition sign all over 2 or n equals minus 2 minus 16 that is you take the negative sign Okay, this time around, all over two. So this implies that n equals n equals minus two plus sixteen. That's fourteen, all over two. Or n equals now minus two minus sixteen. That is minus eighteen, all over two. So from here we could just say, and this implies that n equals fourteen over two. That's seven. Or 2 in 18, that will be 9, so minus 9. So, but we'll take the positive number, okay? We'll take the positive number. So, it says, so, we take the positive, positive value. That is n equals to 7. So, from here, you could just write that n equals to, n equals to 7, okay? So, our base is seven.